Hello, in this video we're going to integrate the square root of x with respect to x and we're going to go from 1 to 9. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So the goal in this problem is to write this in a way which will allow us to use what's called the power rule. The power rule from calculus says if you have x to the n dx and n is not equal to negative 1, then this is equal to x to the n plus 1 over m plus 1 plus c. Now this is a definite integral so we don't need to add the plus c because if we do when we end up subtracting after integrating the c's will just cancel so it doesn't matter. So we first have to write this in a way that allows us to use this rule. So let me write it like this. We're going from 1 to 9 and the square root of x is really x to the 1 half. There's a 1 here and there's a 2 here, and it's always this number over this number, so 1 over 2, 1 over 2, dx. So now we integrate this using the power rule. So we take 1 half and we add 1 to the exponent. So 1 half plus 1 is 1 half plus 2 halves, which is 3 halves. So we get x to the 3 halves. But when you divide by 3 halves, you really multiply by 2 thirds. So this is 2 thirds, x to the 3 halves, and we're going from 1 to 9. Let's leave the two-thirds out here, and let's go ahead and plug in stuff. So first you plug in the nine, so we get nine to the three-halves. Then we subtract, and we plug in the one, so we get one to the three-halves. So this is equal to two-thirds, nine to the three-halves. Let's go over here and work that out. So if you have nine to the three-halves, that's really the square root of nine, because the two goes in the little pocket, always. And then you can put the 3 wherever you want. You can put it on right here where the 9 is or you can put it outside. I'm going to put it outside. The square root of 9 is 3 so you get 3 cubed so you get 27. So this is going to be 27 minus 1. So this is 2 thirds right because 1 to the 3 halves is 1 uh, and then 26. So this is equal to 52 over 3 because 26 times 2 is 52. And that would be the answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is studying mathematics. Good luck.